welcome to Bluffton High School, where some are calling it the game of the year of the Northwest Conference as the Bluffton Pirates host the Spencerville Bearcats. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Nevergall and our entire WSN crew. And they don't get much bigger than this in the Northwest Conference. But for a matter of fact, for Northwest Ohio, Dar, you've got a 15-1 Bluffton squad, an 11-4 Spencerville squad, but both undefeated in the Northwest Conference. Oh, absolutely. And you can tell from this packed house that we got here at Bluffton as well. I mean, I don't think there's a seat available <laughs> for not. anybody. You know, I mean, this is going to be a great matchup between these two. And I think a pretty even match if you look on paper and stuff. You know, they got the height, they've got the shooting, you know, and they got defense. They got everything that you could possibly want in the basketball game tonight. And what a season the Bluffton Pirates, the homestanding Pirates are having 15 and 1. And Dar, as, as you talk about both these teams having it, boy, Bluffton's really got it together. Well, they certainly do. And now it looks like they're going to have one of their best players back in Merrick Donaldson as well tonight, which is a big plus for this Bluffton team. You know, he's averages about almost 16 points a game, and that's been missing from their lineup, but they've still been able to manage to win games. Their only loss being to Ottawa Glendorf, which is no big, no slouch no there. Slouch there. Yeah. Everybody's lost to Ottawa Glendorf almost, but, you know, and that was only by three points. So, you know, it, or five points. So it's going to be a great matchup between these two. Spencerville, you know, coming off of a loss, but, you know, against a very, very good Delta St. John's team. So, you know, I expect them to come out with a little bit of edge, you know, <laughs> right. uh, you know after yeah. losing. And speaking of the Bearcats, they come in at 11 and 4, 3 and 0 in the Northwest Conference, and they are led by the brother combination of Will Sensible and Owen Sensible, two fantastic guards. Yeah, and young players as well. You know, Will Sensible, just a freshman, you know, his brother coming in as just a sophomore. So, you know, but the advantage of having their dad coaching them, you know, sure, sure. throughout the years. You know, but, you know, you throw those two guys out there, you know, they're going to have some nice matchups, though, on the other side with the Bluffton Pirates as well. Wayne Ginther out there from the Pirates, you know, Terry Wright, the Bobbitt kid, you know, there's another coach's son out yeah, there yeah, for Bluffton Pirates. You know, so there's going to be some nice matchups, and particularly on the inside. I really expect some, some battles on the inside tonight, all night long, and rebounding is going to be a real big key tonight. Let's take a look at the lineups for both teams. For the visitors, the Spencerville Bearcats, like I said, they committed at 11 and 4, 3 and 0 in the Northwest Conference. They'll go with Will Sensible, a freshman guard, 5'10, he averages 8.9 a game. Evan Oshton is a senior guard, 6'2, at 11.5 a game. Owen Sensible, the brother of Will Sensible, the sophomore guard, number 13, he'll commit at 13.3 a game. And the big man, Carter Sutoff, a senior, 6'6, number 23, he'll go at 12.7 a game. And Carter Orr, the 6'4 junior. He'll go at 6.7 a game. For the homestanding Pirates, they come into the game 14 and 1, 5 and 0 in the Northwest Conference. They are led by head coach Todd Bobbitt. They'll start Merrick and Donaldson, a 6'1 junior guard at 15.8 a game. He's been out for a while uh, with an illness, but he is starting tonight. They'll go number three, Wade Ginther, a 6'1 senior at 11.7 a game. Number four is Terry Bobbitt, a 6'1 junior at 7.5 a game. Number 21, Blake Summers, a 6'5 junior, comes in 15.1 a game. And rounding out the starting five, number 32, John Paul Yoder, is a 6'4 senior post player. So, partner, we're just about set here. My goodness, this place, you can't hear yourself no, talk you because not. it's <laughs> so loud. And, and the other broadcast team beside us said, look, it gets really loud. I've been here for big games, but not bigger than this, that you can't find a seat. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I was here, at, I did the OG bluffing game earlier on in the season. And it was kind of the same atmosphere because OG travels really well with their fan base. And so, you, yeah, it gets really loud in here. Uh, a lot of stopping, <laughs> a lot of, you know, yelling. Uh, you know, it's very compact in here. So, yeah, you're, it, it's an atmosphere for high school basketball that you just don't want to miss. Absolutely. That's for sure. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is the Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lima Wapak Dumbles in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your favorite needs. And our timeout sponsor is Medicare's Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit Metzger'sFinancialServices.com. So we are ready to rock and roll. It's Spencerville, it's Bluffton, it's WSN, and we're bringing you all the action tonight from Bluffton High School. And the tip goes to the Bearcats. This is Will Sensible. He'll go to the left corner. Danny Holbrook, Darn Neverball. 
Bringing all the action here. This is Evan Osten. Evan Osten, very good player guard. He can shoot from anywhere on the floor. There's a three ball on right the left there. side. He'll miss that one. Rebound comes down. This is Owen Sensball. Gets it into Carter Sutton, and he scores. And it makes it two to nothing on the wet insurance scoreboard. And I think that's where this game's really going to be won or lost. It's going to be in the paint between these team teams. You've got a couple big guys out there and six, six guys, six, five guys. Nice move right there. Nice, nice cut play. there wow. by Blake Summers as he cuts to the basket and he ties it at 2 2 on the Wedding Insurance scoreboard. Blake Summers, 6 5, averages 15.1 a game. And there you see a nice dribble drive by Owen Sensible. And Dar, they're going to put the pressure on the Pirates by getting to the rim tonight. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna have to. I mean, they're going to have to try to get you know, some fouls on Bluff and get uh, guys like Blake Summers and John Paul Yoder in foul trouble as quickly as they can. You know, so they can dominate in that paint because right now Bluffton averages about 31 rebounds a game and they only give up like 21 rebounds a game. So that's going to be a key for uh, Spencerville to be able to get in there and get some rebounds. Sensible misses the first one. That one came up kind of short there. Second one on the way and it, nothing but the bottom of that. Makes it three to two on the web insurance scoreboard. Spencerville leads. So here come the Pirates trying to get back the lead in this one. Well, spring it back up top. This is Wade Ginther. He's guarded by Evan Oster. Very good matchup on top. They'll swing it over to Taryn Boblett. Another coach's son oh, we yeah. talked about him. He knows the game. And, and very we got good. a travel there, turnover. Let's see, Boblett took too many steps there for the Pirates. Yeah, Bluffton averages about 11 turnovers a game, so that's not unusual for them. You know, but really when you look at it, when it comes down to free throw shooting, and this game gets down to free throw shooting at the end. We got a 64% free throw shooting team yes. in Spencer and a 70% free throw shooting team in Bluffton. So if we get down to that stage in this game, which you very well could be. Another three ball on the way and it's good. Carter or the 6-4 junior knocks in the triple and it makes it 6-2 on the web insurance scoreboard. You better guard him, young man, because he can step out and knock him down. And that's only his fourth three-pointer of the season. Four for nine so far in the season. Yeah, he's not afraid to take he's him. When he does take, take him, it. he's got a high-quality shot there. Ball goes out of bounds and we go back to the left of the Pirates. Mary Donaldson will trigger the ball in. We know much of, in, in our studies this week. We didn't get a lot of information on Mary Donaldson. We know he has been ill, and he is back in the starting lineup tonight. Yeah, he hasn't practiced a whole lot because of that, but, you know, he's a 16-point scorer, and he gets about five rebounds a game. Anytime so that's somebody you got to have that in there. <laughs> Anytime you put 16 points on the board, you want that each and every night. Here's Ginther with the ball as he goes foul line. He'll swing it back around. This is Donaldson, dribble drive to the right side, shot goes up, and they're going to say the foul was on the floor. And they're going to get Owen Sensible. That's his first foul. That's the one thing that Owen will Sensible. They like, can't afford to get them into foul trouble. So you want to think bluff and maybe put a little pressure going to the rim tonight. Yeah, I, mean, I expect Danny to really see a lot of that. A Absolutely, lot of driving yeah. to the basket, trying to get fouls, if nothing else, you know, or get those easy shots on the inside. This is Ginther. He gets a screen from Paul Yoder out top. Now they try to post up John Paul Yoder down the block. Long Whoa. three from Donaldson, and he knocks it in. Well, Are I think you he's back. Me? Mary Donaldson says, Splish, splash. I'm back in action, folks. And it's 6 5 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. That's an NBA three, too. My goodness, he was out by the Pirates, wasn't he? <laughs> this is Orr with the ball. He'll go. Will Sensabaugh, Will Sensabaugh dribble drive left side, misses the shot, ball comes down, it goes out of bounds, and they're going to say it goes back to the Bluffton Pirates. Just like on cue, he said there's going to be a lot of drives in the basket, but sure enough, they're, they're they're seeing it right. And I don't blame him, you know, like you said, Absolutely. for her. But, you know, Donaldson out there popping that three is going to make Spencerville think, oh, man, this kid really is bad. Yeah, you know, we're going to have to worry about this now. I don't know how ill he was, but he did not yeah. look ill there. Here's another There's long another three one. from the top, and he misses that one. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Carter Orr. Here come the Bearcats. This is Will Sensabaugh. Kicks it back out to his brother, Owen. Gets the screen. Carter set off. Sensible takes it in the left side. He scores. Oh, and Sensible with a triple drive to the basket and the lefty, or excuse me, the nifty left-handed shot, and it goes in eight to five on the Web Insurance scoreboard. I think we see a pattern developing here, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we love this guard play. We, we like the big men too. There's John Paul Yoder down low, guarded by. Carter Sutton, shot goes up, rebound comes down, is corralled by Boblin. He's going to take it back up, goes off the mark, and the rebound comes down to the Bearcats, and we're going to get uh, going to get both fouls on both players here. 
Got to get a foul on John Paul Yoder and a foul on Carter Sutoff. Double foul. You saw the banging bodies down low. You knew it was going to happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and you got to be looking at the referees and say, you know, we got to keep this game in check. The atmosphere. Yeah. The rivalry, you know, this yeah. is a big game in the Northwest Conference. We can't let it get out of hand, you know, so we're going to control it a little bit earlier, and, and I don't blame one bit. And most of these kids know each other. I mean, they're, you know, don't sure. live that far apart. There's Owen Sensible on the drive again. They're going to say he just lost the ball. A lot of contact, and they're going to say he lost the ball. Both these squads come in. You look at Spencerville and Dart. They come in averaging 60 a game. Bluffton comes in averaging 68 a game. And defensively, they're right around the same, right? Uh, Bluffton's right around 50, and Spencerville's 51, 52 a game. Yep, absolutely. You know, and, you know, Spencerville comes in only averaging just under 10 turnovers a game. So Quality both teams take, the guard, yeah. yeah, they really take good care of the basketball on both sides. This is Ginther, takes it up oh. on the left side. Wade Ginther, a little dribble drive, and he hesitated there, and he goes to the rim, and he makes it 8-7 on the web insurance scoreboard. Here comes Oates. Oh, my oh. God. Are you kidding me? Owen Sensabaugh with the oh, I don't even know what to call it. A little uh. up and under dipsy do, and he scores to make it 10-7 on the web insurance scoreboard. You got to calm me down, Dora. Oh, no, I'll tell you, this that's five points now already for Owen Sensible. And you see Donaldson heading for the foul line. You know, he's a 70% free throw shooter at the foul line as well. Well, you saw, you saw Owen Sensible go up, and he got turned around. And I don't know that he intended to shoot it like that, but when it went to the rim, he looked like he met every bit of it. <laughs> well, good body control, and then, yeah. you know, that just shows how much athleticism is out there on this court, you know, watching good. these two teams. You know, I, I tell you what, Dan, this is going to be down to the wire. I can tell already. <laughs> I know it. You know, this place is going to be rocking by the third quarter so bad. Donaldson lets that one fly. And Barry Donaldson, he's got five already on the night. And it's 10 9 11 sure scoreboard. So you can see his presence being felt already. This is Will Sensible. The ball loses a handle on it. And Donaldson's going to come out and pick him up. They're going to try to go down low. They'll go down to the big man, Carter Orr. Orr, a little spin around. He's going to take it up. And he doesn't score, but he's going to go to the line. And they're going to get number two, Kerry Wright, on the foul. Kerry Wright's been starting in the place of Mary Donaldson. So it's almost as if they've got six starters in the lot. Oh, yeah. And Kerry Wright has really come on strong for this Bluffton team. You know, he's really picked up his game. He stepped right in, took in, took charge, you know, carried the team, you know, helped them along to get where they're at right now with a 14-1 record. So, so Carter Orr misses that one. And, uh, you, you called it earlier, partner. Foul shots are going to be the premium tonight. We've got to hit these. So Orr will let the second one fly, and it's good. Carter Orr, the 6'4 junior, knocks that one. And it's 11-9 on the web insurance scoreboard. Carter's got six on the night. Well, there's a couple matchups we got to keep an eye on. One is Wilson some ball down there going against Merrick Donaldson one on one out there and then the big guys underneath as well going going at each other. There's a nice matchup here with Blake Summers and Carter Orr. There's a three ball in the way. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Bearcats. Will Sensible brings it down to the right side. He gets a screen. Three ball from the top of the key and it's Whoa, good. I told you. I told you that kid is something else. Will Sensible is a freshman and he knocks in a three and 14 and on the left insurance scoreboard. That's a 41% three point shooter out there as well. There's a nice steal by Owen Sensible, and it's all Sensibles all the time right now. They lead 14 to 9, and they throw the ball away. Tried to push the ball down and get it in the hands of Grady Smith. And Grady, the ball goes off of his fingertips to go back to the left of Pirates. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I mean, you're being aggressive out there, trying to get it, you know, push it down the court as quick as you can, trying to take advantage of Bluffton's defense being caught off guard. Entering the game now for the left of Pirates in the five, Landon Worcester in the 5'10 junior. And they're going to get a foul on Will Sensible. What the fouls are racking up quick. Yeah, they are. are. Sure are. Well, they're not letting anything go by. You know, that was just kind of a little reach in, you know, trying to get the ball, knock the ball away, and they caught him on the arm. And, you know, the referees are going to be right on top of this the whole game. Carter Orr takes a seat. Evan Ostings comes back in for the Bearcats. And Will Sensible is going to take a seat. They'll bring in number 11 for the Bearcats, Grady Smith. And we've already seen seven fouls here in this first quarter. Wade Ginther with the ball out top. A little dribble drive to the right side. Goes back behind his back. A little spin move. Shot goes up. And they're going to get a foul. And he'll go to the line for two. They're going to get uh, number 23 on the call. Carter Sutoff. 
And I'll tell you what, Danny, every call that's made out here, you're going to hear these crowds erupt, oh, either on one side or the other. Well, Ginther, a 73% free throw shooter. And here's the thing, Dar, that's two on Carter's set off. Uh, the 6'6 senior, and he's going to have to go out of the game, and that is a big loss right now for the Bearcats. They've got Michael Woods in the game, number 33 for the Bearcats, and it's 14 to 10 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. This is Evan Osten guarded by Boblet up top. We're nope. seeing a little bit of half court offense played, but not a whole lot. There's a steal by the Pirates. They'll bring it down the right side. Boblet with the ball. Thought about taking the shot. He'll kick it back out. They'll go back inside. And another steal. There's a steal by Carter. Stunham takes it inside. And they're going to get a charge. They're going to get a charge. Excuse me, that's Carter Orr. And the big man picks up another foul. And the Spencerville crowd not happy about that one. Well, we got a Spencerville crowd over here not happy with it. We got a Bluffton crowd over there that's very happy with it. And you can't hear anything anyhow. Right, so. and you've got <laughs> Sutoff, Sutoff and, and Orr, the 6'6 six, six and 6'4 six, post players, both with two fouls yeah, now for the Bearcats. And we still got two minutes to go here in the first period. This is Bean getting through with the ball. Gets it over to Donaldson. Donaldson gets it over to Boblet. Boblet goes back. Donaldson. Donaldson thought about taking that three from way out there. They'll go inside. This is Brody Summers, and he loses the ball there. That's It'll a, go back to the Spencerville Bearcats. Yeah, that's the fourth unofficial turnover now for Bluffton Pirates. We got four for Spencerville as well. A little bit of nerves here in the first Let, quarter. Both well, teams feeling each other out. Yeah, and it's fast paced. I mean, sure they're, they're, it is. They're, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of half court offense. <laughs> right. They've been getting down there as quick as they can. They've been taking shots. They've been moving the ball around. So, you know, both teams are just not settling into anything sure. right at the moment. Sure. This is Osteen. Osteen gets it over to Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh guarded by Ginther. Sensabaugh takes it inside, and he's going to get a foul. And they're going to get, looks like they're going to get uh, the foul on number 23 for the Pirates. That's Brody Summers. Owen oh, Sensabaugh will go to the free throw line. Our free throws tonight are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima. Walk on Delphi and St. Mary. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. So he knocks that one in. He's got six on the night for the Bearcats. And they lead 15 to 10 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. And the second one falls as well. And the Bearcats have their biggest lead of the night at 16 to 10. Yeah, Brody Summers was a question mark of whether he was going to play tonight. He has an injury as well, but he was bound to determine he was going to play. There's a three ball from Summers on the way. And he knocks it in. Blake Summers, the 6'5 junior. He shows you his sniper kind of ability. He knocks it in to make it 16 13. Here goes Sensiball with the drive. Little turnaround jumper. That's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's going to fall into the hands of Carey Wright. They'll get it to Donaldson on the left side. He'll kick it back out. This is Ginther from the left side. Shot goes up. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down. And it's corralled by Carey Wright. He'll get it over to Blake Summers. Summers guarded by Osteen. They'll go Mary Donaldson on the right side. Tries to dribble drive. Kick it back out. This is Ginther with the ball. Kicks it over to Summers. Summers and Bob and Summers ran into each other. Owen Sensabaugh with the steal. He gets it over to Evan Osteen. Osteen takes it in and he scores. Oh and my. they're going to get a foul on Mary Donaldson. Evan Osteen goes to the line, and it's 18-13 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. <laughs> 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Man, it's just been a whirlwind, Dar. This action is nonstop. Yeah, neither team slowing down. They're just running up and down the court. And Evan Osteen knocks that one in. Evan Osteen has three on the night. This is Ginther with the ball. Pirates down 19-13 to the Bearcats. Ginther drives to the right side. He misses the shot. And looks like they're going to get a foul on Ginther. Evan, or excuse me, Owen Sensiball went up for the rebound, and Ginther kind of backed into him. A kind of an incidental foul, but they called it nonetheless. Yeah, you know, it's one of those situations where he put up the layup and then didn't go down, and then he just got tangled up with Sensiball after that. But... Yep. And don't forget, Dar, with the new rule, the shot, the, uh, the fouls will reset at the end of the quarter here. So Sensabaugh with the free throws, and he knocks that one in. Owen Sensabaugh 
He's got eight on the night. Makes it 20 to 13 on the web insurance scoreboard. Second one on the way, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's crowd by John Paul Yoder. He gets it over to Blake Summers. Summers goes behind his back. He's going to take it all the way inside, and oh he scores. Blake Summers, oh my goodness. He scores on the left side, and he makes it 20 to 15, and they're going to get a foul. They're going to get a charge. They're saying that Will Sensabaugh with the charge, and he's got two fouls, Don, with six seconds to go in the quarter. So the Spencerville Bearcats have three players with two fouls. Yeah, that's going to be tough, and you got to make some adjustments now if you're Kevin Sensabaugh. Here come the Pirates, Donaldson from the corner, and Good he knocks night. it in! Mary Donaldson with the triple! After one quarter of play from Bluffton High School, it feels like the 4th of July. We got fireworks everywhere. 20 to 18. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back here to Bluffton High School, where after one quarter of play, the Spencerville Bearcats hold a 20 to 18 lead in Dar. My goodness, I gotta catch my breath. What kind of action are we watching here today? Well, we're seeing a lot of up and down action, but we're not seeing a lot of rhythm because sure. of the number of fouls that we've seen called so far. You know, some of them, you know, a little strange, but you know, it's hard to get into rhythm if you're either team, but I don't think these two teams are even trying to get into rhythm. All I think they're all trying to do is see who can beat each other down the court the fastest. Yeah, well, we've seen a lot of loose balls yeah. and a lot of up and down the court. You're absolutely right. And I'm sure both coaches are saying, you know, settle down, guys. Yeah. We get it. It's a huge atmosphere, big time game, but uh, let's, let's play within ourselves. And Merrick Donaldson has just oh, come oh, back from oh, my land. He's got 10 tonight. This is Donaldson with the ball on the left side, guarded by Owen Sensabaugh. They go back over to Boblet. Boblet goes back to Ginther. Ginther on top, right on top of the Pirate at midcourt. 7.43 to go. Danny Hilbert guard never ball from Bluffton High School, the game of the year of the Northwest Conference. They'll go inside to John Paul Yoder, tries to get position, and, and he, he does. does. Oh, nice job by John Paul Yoder as he just backed his way in and he scores, and they're all knotted at 20-20 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Here's Sensabaugh, he gets trapped in the middle of the floor, they'll kick it back out. Great defense inside for Blossom on that one. Oh, and Sensabaugh, a little turnaround, and misses that one. John Paul Yoder with the rebound. Here comes Mary Donaldson, he gets it down to Ginther. Ginther goes back to Donaldson, three ball from the left side, and it's good. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mary Donaldson with another triple. Oh my goodness, it's 23-20, and the Pirates have the lead. Well, they said he hadn't practiced that much, so, but <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe oh that's the key. Don't gosh. practice. Don't let <laughs> Carter, I need oxygen. I need oxygen. Oh, but this is something else. And <laughs> Are you kidding me? 23-20. Bluffton's got their first lead of the night. And what do they got? A technical, technical foul? I think, on... Might have called on Donaldson. Yeah, it's a technical foul on Merrick Donaldson. Not real sure what the call is. Uh, the officials are talking to Coach Boblett. And... Owen Sensabaugh will go to the line to shoot the technical fouls. A huge turnaround there. As all really the momentum is. in the world is going towards Bluffton. Uh, referee still explaining that the Todd Bob went down there. Second one good. He knocks that one in. He makes it 23-22 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Danny Holbrook guard never gone from Bluffton High School. Burns get hot in here. <laughs> I mean, this could be huge, you know, not only the two free throws, but then Spencerville gets the ball back as well. They could get, put another two or three on the board. So Michael Woods will trigger the ball. Excuse me, Evan Ostens will trigger the ball in. He'll go back to Michael Woods. Evan Ostens guarded by Bobble up top. 23-22, Bluffton leads on the Web Insurance scoreboard. This is Sensen Ball. He'll kick it back out. Three ball from the top of the key. It's off the mark. Ball goes back to Bluffton. That was Brady Smith with the miss shot. Here's Blake Summers. Oh my oh, goodness! Yeah, you Blake can't leave him Summers open. knocks in the triple. Look, it's cold outside, but it's summertime in here. Nah, buddy, Blake I'll Summers. tell you what, you can't leave that big guy open out there. He knocks it in. He gets the rebound. Here comes Summers leading the break down the floor. Ball's everywhere. Spencer with the steal. Sends the ball, takes it up, scores, and he's fouled. 
They'll get Wade Gither on the foul, but every time you think somebody's going to run away with it, another play happens. Yeah, turnovers are big, and they've been key turnovers as well. And they've resulted in points, and that's the biggest thing is if you can you know, turn those turnovers into points, you know, you're just going to go a long ways in this game. Will Sensen lost the line. Eric has done 26 24, and he completes the three point play to make it 26 25 on the Red Insurance scoreboard. Back and forth we go. The game of the year in the Northwest Conference. Both of these teams undefeated, trying to get that top spot. Now, you said, Danny, you know, he left an average in about almost 68 points a game. Spencer up 60 points a game. You know, yeah. and I think they're going to hit that well <laughs> by the third quarter both if they keep teams, it up. Yeah, both these teams can fill it up. Go back inside to John Paul Yoder. The big body forward gets position, but he misses that shot. Here comes Will Sensabaugh, guarded by Ginther. Sensabaugh drives to the back. Little turnaround jumper. It's off the mark. And it looks like they're probably going to get number 33, Michael Woods, on the foul. They do. Woods just kind of jumped in the middle, trying to get the ball, but nonetheless, bodies collided. I'll tell you, there's a battle going on them inside the paint, just trying to get rebounds. Special Girl's going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back here in Bluffton High School. 5.49 to go until halftime. The Bluffton Pirates lead the Spencer Bearcats 26-25. And what a game we're seeing here tonight. Both teams undefeated in the Northwest Conference vying for that top spot, separated by a point now. Donaldson will trigger the ball in. This is Wade Ginther. He is guarded out Tom by Grady Smith. They'll bring it down for the Pirates. Looking for Merrick Donaldson, trying to get him the ball. They'll go Blake Summers. This is Summers up top, guarded by Evan Oston. Now switch. Yeah, there's Owen sends the Owen ball off on to Donaldson now. Nice. Oh, nice <laughs> job. <laughs> there you saw a nice pick and roll by Brody Summers as he scores the bucket to make it 28-25 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. You saw it happen. You can see it from up here. Oh, really yeah. nice job. There's a three ball on the way. It's off the mark. Here comes Ginther. Gets it out to Donaldson. Donaldson crowds it. Goes to Blake Summers. Summers takes it up, and he scores. Oh, my goodness. It feels like summertime in the gym. 30-25 on the Web Insurance scoreboard with 4.57 to go. Bearcats miss another one. Rebound comes down to Sensabaugh. He'll get it out to Evan Osten. They'll go Brady Smith top sign. Now, since Spencer's just got to slow it down a little bit. A nice little reverse oh, and a bucket. That. Are you kidding me? Owen Sensabaugh. Owen, nobody. An explanation for that shot as he scores the making 30 27 with 4 43 to go. My goodness, he's putting on the show. Oh, that was a nice soft touch, too. Just lay it up there over the rim. 30 to 27 on the web insurance scoreboard. Owen Sensabaugh leading his Bearcats tonight. You see uh, Kerry Wright coming in, replacing Donaldson. And number 13 misses his 13th point there. He's got 12 to lead the Bearcats. Still 30 to 27 on the web insurance scoreboard. Get their grand little half court offense last time yeah, down. Yeah, it's been nice, hasn't it? There's another miss. Wade Ginter with the miss. Bearcats on the rebound. This is Evan Hurst. He's guarded by Bob out top. There's no one sends him off from the top of the key. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Owen sends him off with the triple. He's got 15 on the night. He's a player. 30 all on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Well, there's no spot on this court that's safe at this point. Brody Summers with another nice pick and roll in the basket. Brody's got four right, and he gives the Pirates the 32-30 lead. Here comes Owen Sensabaugh, takes it back in. He misses that shot, and they're going to foul. They're going to say the foul is on Michael Woods from the Bearcats. Ball moves back to the Bluffton Pirates. Well, unofficially, I've got Bluffton now with 10 rebounds to six for Sensabaugh. And uh, you can see, you know, Spencerville not getting second opportunities at all. Yeah. I mean, Bluffton's been able to clean it off. If nothing else, there's been fouls or there's been turnovers or there's been something, but they haven't been able to get second opportunity shots. There's a dribble drive to the basket and a nice turnaround. Number two, Carey Wright with a nifty left-handed layup. Makes it 34-30 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Back and forth we go. 
This is Evan Oster. Goes Grady Smith topside. This is Will Sensabaugh. Evan Oster cutting to the basket. Misses the shot. Gets his own rebound. Grady Smith's shot was blocked. Blake Summers blocked the shot. And they're going to get a technical on Blake Summers. Blake Summers, he blocked the shot. And he said something to the Bearcat yeah. player. Not real sure what he said. But uh, look. It's no secret, there's history here. Oh, yeah, Blake absolutely. Summers played at Spencerville. Uh, there's a lot of friction here, but uh, we're making the best of it. Uh, and, uh, Owen Sensabaugh will go to the line for the technical. And he knocks in the first one. And as we said, you know, these referees are not going to let anything no. slide. So. And, and look, they're just kids. They're, they're great kids, both squad full of great kids. So it happens in the heat of battle. So we'll make the best of it. 34-31, Bluffton leads with 319 to go. But it does give Blake Summers his second foul. Yeah, and Blake Summers taking the, taking the seat on the bench right now. And, you know, Coach Bobby wants him to cool down a sure, little bit. Absolutely. I mean, we, can't, we cannot afford not to have you out on the court. So. With the ball down 34 31. This is only sensible. I'm triple drive to the right side and off the mark. Rebound comes down. Kick it out to Baba. Baba brings it down the left side. Thought about taking the shot. Evan Osteen with a quick hand and the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, the, the, the level of play right now, Gar, is just through the roof. I, I mean, all the guard play, taking nothing away from the big men, but the guard play tonight has just been oh, fantastic. Oh, and in the you know, just moving the ball on the inside to the big guys, you know, they're finding the open guys on the inside. Now, Terry Bobla does not score to, so far. He's averaging about seven points a game. So if you can get him going, you know, for the Pirates, there's sure. another big asset. Yet they're losing the ball, and Summers tries to crowd. He does get the ball. They'll kick it back up, and Bluffton does main, remain with the ball. This is Bobla. And Dar just talked it up. Brody Summers, the left hander, takes it inside, and he scored. Oh. That's a tough He's matchup. making a statement, isn't he? Brody Summers, my goodness, he is a man amongst boys when he catches the ball on the low post at 36-31 on the left and shooter scoreboard. Here's Will Sensabaugh with the number drive. Kicks it back out to Evan Osteen. 2.18 to go until halftime. Osteen with the ball up top, guarded by Bobbitt. Kicks it over Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh dribble drive baseline. Gets it across court. This is Owen Sensabaugh. Great good spin move, for man. the three ball, and it's good. Oh my goodness, Grady, Grady knocks in the triple to make it 36-34. That's good ball movement finally by Spencerville on a half-court offense. Boy, they're running a lot of sets with Brady yeah. Summers on oh, the top look of at the that move. There's the miss by Bluffton, they'll bring it down. Spencerville with a chance to tie or take the lead. Grady Smith with a little 12-foot jumper, and he knocks it in. Ties it up at 36 all. And Grady Goodness. Smith just averaged <laughs> under four points a game. He's already come in and hit a couple quick ones. Goodness gracious, Grady. 36 all on the web insurance scoreboard, and we've got a foul on the floor. Looks like they're going to get Owen Sensabaugh on the foul, and that is his second foul. So the fouls are mounting up there for the Spencerville Bearcats. And that's why guys like Grady Smith are very important to come in Absolutely. for them. Give, give those guys a break. Wade Ginther goes to the foul line, and oh, it trickles in. Boy, that used every yeah. bit of the room there for Wade Ginther. Ginther's got four on the night, and the Pirates lead 37-36 on the way to show scoreboard. And Ginther's got an interesting delivery on it. He sure let's does. go that ball, but... But he knocks Somebody them both in. <laughs> he knocks them both Three in. for four at the foul line. He's got four on the night. Pirates lead 38-36. Here comes Will Sensabaugh bringing the ball down the floor. He's guarded by Wade Gimper. And Sensabaugh will hold the ball at the top of the key, looking for instructions from his dad. Goes there go Evan Osteen, kicking the corner. Grady Smith for three. Off the mark. Here comes Gimper, leading the break for the Pirates. He'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Nice little crossover. And Will Sensabaugh out of nowhere gets the loose ball and throws it off Wade Gimper. That's what winning's about right there. Right there. Oh, my goodness. Not that, not that anybody's won the game by far, but my goodness, that's a heads-up play. It is. If you can go for every loose ball and if you can make plays like that, you know, to keep your team in there, you do everything you can for your team to win. Under the one-minute mark until halftime, 38-36, 11 insurance scoreboard. Sensible to Sensible. Sensible guarded up top by Bean Ginther. Owen oh, triple drives on the right side, and it just rolls off the rim. 
Rebound comes down. Ginther will bring it down against Sensabar. We're down to 44 seconds. Oh, and Kerry Wright just went up high and ripped that right off the board. And you saw oh. Ginther break down the defense, gets the ball to Kerry Wright. Kerry Wright goes up and under for the bucket. It's 40-36 on the Webb Insurance scoreboard. Kerry Wright is a really nice player. Oh, he certainly is. And you know what? Everything you're watching out here between these two teams, you can show that you see the importance of this team and the atmosphere that they're playing in because everything is aggressive. You know, Kerry Wright ripped that rebound off of there. Absolutely you know, 100% went, right. went yeah. down there and scored. I mean, you know, you can see it in these kids' eyes. This is Will Sensabaugh guarded up top by Gimper. Sensabaugh. Fantastic ball in by Will Sensabaugh for a freshman and his brother Owen for a sophomore. They are just fantastic ball handlers. And if you're Bearcats fans, you got a lot to look forward to. Nice triple drive there by Will Sensabaugh. Shot goes up and he knocks it in. Will Sensabaugh, the freshman. He's got eight on the night. Here come the Pirates. Shot goes up and it's oh. good. Are you kidding me? Carry Carry right. right. Carry right. The price is right. 40 to 38 halftime. We'll be back for second half action right after these messages. After one half of play, the Bluffton Pirates lead the Special Bearcats 43 38. And Gar, what a first half of basketball! Both teams knocking down shots, getting to the rim. Really good high school basketball. Oh, great high school basketball. And, you know, great shooting as well. You know, combined the two teams are 10 for 17 from three point range. You know, that's 59%. You know, Bluffton six for nine from three point range. That's, you know, coming in at 67%. You know, Believe it or not, with all the fouls that we've seen, Spencerville has been the foul line 15 times, you know, 15 shots at the foul line. They've hit 10 of those, you know, for 67%. Bluffton, five for six at the foul line. So we talked about if this game comes down to the free throw line at the end. It's going to be a battle between these two because of two very good free throw shooting teams. You know, Dar, you can always tell it's a big game in the area when all the coaches come out. You see over there, former Alina Central Catholic coach Bob Sagerson is in attendance. Former Columbus Grove coach uh, Chris Souders is over there. So, uh, you know, it's a big game. Oh, all the yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, Danny, this is a great atmosphere for, for sure high school is. basketball. And, you know, just packed house, and, and the, the volume has just kept going oh, up and up goodness. and up. There's off on the right side. Yep, and there we in. go. Oh, and Sensabaugh knocks in the triple. And it makes it 43-41 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Oh, and Sensabaugh's got 19 to lead everybody on the floor. There's Blake Summers with the ball. He'll go back to Ginther. Ginther goes foul line. Looks for Eric Donaldson to go back inside to John Paul Yoder. Boy, he's using that big body to get down low, and he takes it up left-handed. That's almost unstoppable. That's almost unfair. Oh, John yeah. Paul Yoder with the bucket. That's just his second basket on the night, but, boy, he's so strong on the inside, and he just backs you down and keeps backing you down. And especially with a little, you know, Leary right now because they've got so many fouls called on him, and the big guys are in foul trouble. You got to let him back you down. There's Absolutely. nothing you can do. There's Sensabaugh for the three, and he knocks it down. Owen Sensabaugh. Owen, nobody but the Bearcats. Three balls. It's 45 44 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. There's Donaldson. Donaldson moves back to Ginther. Ginther dribble drives. Takes it back up. Goes inside to Yoder, and Yoder scores again. John Paul Yoder back to back buckets for the Pirates. And it's 47 44. And Coach Bob is going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. 6 45. So a quick timeout, a timeout sponsor tonight, brought to you by Metscrew Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetscrewFinancialServices.com. Metscrew Financial Services, our timeout sponsor. So here come the Bearcats. They're down 47-44 off back-to-back -back threes by Owen Sensabaugh. He's got the ball, kicks it inside. Nice up and under there by the big man, Carter Orr. The 6'4 junior scores, and he makes it 47-46 on the 11th insurance scoreboard. There's Ginther with a nice running one-hander. 
Shut off with the rebound, gets it out to Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh brings it down the middle of the floor. He's gonna take it straight up, and he scores. Will Sensabaugh, will you score a lot tonight? We're seeing it happen. He's got 10, and it's 47-48. The Bearcats have the lead. Uh, Sensabaugh brothers coming out. There's a steal by Sensabaugh. He's gonna take it up the right side, and there's gonna get a foul, and they're gonna get an intentional foul on Bobler. You saw that coming. And, and you understand what he was doing. He didn't hurt Will Sensabaugh, but you understand what he was doing. Yeah, no intent to hurt him there. He's trying to stop him from scoring. And Will Sensabaugh, that's a huge play, man. It is. And again, we talked about it in the first half. These referees are going to call it, you know, to keep this game under control. They're not going to allow these guys to motions to get that high and have all kinds of problems out there. Sensabaugh misses the first one. Will Sensabaugh, the fabulous freshman. He's got 10 on the night. And the second one on the way. And this oh, is down boy. two. And they're going to let it, I think they're going to let him shoot dead again because there was an inadvertent horn that went off. And Coach Sensabaugh's right. He should be allowed to shoot that again. And it looks like they're going to let him shoot that one again. They're discussing it. And, I, and, I, and I'm, you know, I have no stake in this, but it, I, I really believe he should get a shoot that again because the horn went off right as, as he was shooting the ball. Yeah, they're, they're going to shoot it again. again. Yeah, that's the right call. It really yeah. is. So Will Sensabaugh. It's on the way, and he knocks that one in. The okay, Bearcats are going to get the ball back after the intentional foul. Now we've seen two technicals and an intentional foul yeah, so far in this game. All. So, yeah. So, Owen Sensabaugh will trigger it in. He's going to go Carter set off. Set off goes to Will Sensabaugh. There's Owen Sensabaugh with a cutter to the right, and he scores. Owen Sensabaugh. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? He's got 24 on the night. It's 51-47 on the wet insurance scoreboard. And, he, and he's not afraid to throw that thing up from no, way not. off the side. I mean, he's not even underneath the basket when he lets it go. Absolutely. He's done it three or four times. Oh, Here's yeah. Blake Summers. Blake Summers is guarded up top by Carter Orr. And Summers tries to take him down low. And they're going to get Carter Orr on the foul on the floor. And that's his third. And i got to believe they're going to play with him. I really do. they oh, got to yeah. have those yeah. big guys inside. Well, now, yeah. I'm wrong. They're bringing Grady, or excuse me, they're bringing Michael Woods in. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Well, they're going to need Carter in that fourth quarter. They absolutely are. You're absolutely right. That's what Coach Sensabaugh is saying to him. you got to play smart, young man. This is Mary Donaldson. Boy, he was knocking him down in the first half. Mary Donaldson guarded by Owen Sensible out top. 532. Danny Holbrook guarding every ball from Bluff. There's a there long it is. three ball, and he misses that one. Rebound and comes down, and it's corralled by number 23, Carter Setoff. Here comes Will Sensible. He gets a screen from Setoff. Sensible dribble drive, takes it inside, misses the shot. Rebound to Setoff. He takes it back up. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Carter Setoff with a big steal. He scores, he's got two on the night, and a big two for that. It's 53-47 on the web insurance scoreboard. But the big thing is, is now we've got a 53-47 game. Blake Summers, oh my goodness. Blake Summers knocks in the jumper. He's got 14 on the night, one below his average. It's 53-49 on the web insurance scoreboard. Bearcats still on top. That was a huge basket. Bluffton needed that basket desperately. Evan Osteens gets it back to Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh goes inside. Sutoff takes it back up. Oh, my. Carter Sutoff, all the dance move at the palm. It's 49-55. Carter Sutoff scores again. There's another steal by the Bearcats. This is Owen. Sensabaugh, he gets a screen out top to Michael Woods. He lets it fly. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Wade Ginther. Ginther's going to bring it down the middle of the floor. He'll go Blake Summers. Summers back to Ginther. Ginther guarded by Sensabaugh. They'll go back inside to John Paul Yoder. A little left-handed turnaround. He misses that one. And another rebound from Bearcats. Michael Woods corrals that one. And Coach Sensabaugh says, slow her down, boys. Yep. Four yep. minutes to go in the third quarter. And I think Coach Bob was saying the same thing to himself, too. Absolutely. We've got to slow down and get control of this game. Osteen trying to push it in to set off. This is Will Sensabaugh on top. He'll go Evan Osteen on the right side. Back to Michael Woods. He'll go back down low to Carter Setoff. Setoff takes it up again, and he 
misses that shot. Rebound to Michael Woods. He misses the shot. Blake Summers corrals it for the Pirates. And he'll get it out to Mary Donaldson. 3.33 to go. Bearcats lead 55-49. Ginther in the middle of the floor. Blake Summers goes for the handoff. He takes it up to the left side. Misses the shot. Rebound comes down. Will sends the ball on the left side. Thought about pulling up in the three. A little spin move. Oh, Will sends the ball. And he's going to be fouled by Ginther. My good Will sends the ball. That was <laughs> grease lightning. Are you kidding me? He Ooh. felt it too. He thought he really had it going in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I get paid to make these calls. <laughs> yeah, boy. Hey, let's see if he's got his touch back now. Oh, he's yep. got it back. He's got it back. Will sends the ball. He's got 12 on the night. I said there's some good guards in Northwest Ohio, and this kid takes a back seat to nobody. That was a pretty move and a nice little spin there. He got himself open, and he really was disappointed the ball didn't go in, I could tell. Second one on the way, and he knocks it in. Makes it 57-49. Bearcats extend that lead with 3.13 to go in the third quarter. Pirates desperately need a basket. Bob with long three, and he there knocks it, is. it in! Oh, my goodness! He was standing out by his desk! I'll tell you what, Danny, I've been waiting all night for that shot by Taryn Bobla because that's a shot I've seen him make over and over again. My goodness, Taryn Bobla from way out. Owen sends the ball with the ball. He'll dribble back, get him inside, he'll kick it back outside. Will sends the ball. Thought about taking the shot. It'll go back to Michael Woods. Woods guarded by Wooster on the outside. Owen sends the ball. Sends the ball gets a screen from Michael Woods. Turn around by sends the ball off the mark. Here come the Pirates. Mary Donaldson brings them all down the left side. Gets it back over to Ginther. Look out. Look out. There's a triple. 57-55. Mary Donaldson said, I'm taking a back seat to no one, brother. Well, I'll tell you what. You know, both these teams just shoot lights out from three-point range tonight. 57, 55 on the ladies' room for it. Carter, you said it early in the broadcast. This one's going to come down to the last call. I think you're right. 57, 55. We're under two minutes to go. They'll go back inside. Shut up with a nice turnaround. He misses the shot. And the Pirates have a chance to take the lead or tie with this possession. Here comes Donaldson, guarded by Sensabaugh. And really, Danny, the rebounding is going to play a key part in who wins this game. Donaldson on the right side. Tries to get it into Summers. Summers gets the ball back. This is Worcester on the outside. He'll go back to Bob. Excuse me, Summers with the ball. Goes back to Ginther. Ginther goes back to Merrick Donaldson. I'm telling you, you got to guard Merrick Donaldson clear out there at the volleyball line. That kid has unlimited range. And Coach Bob says we need a timeout. With 1.24 to go in the third quarter. The Bluff the Pirate here. Take a timeout. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Bluffton High School. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Spanish Recipe Chicken and Lima Walpaca Douglas. Call Lee's for all your favorite needs. Pardon said something off the air. He talked about both teams making a run at each other, but they can't shake each other. No, they can't shake each other, and they're not panicking. I mean, right. you, even when you go down five points or six points, you know, they didn't panic. They just said, yeah, okay, fine, you know, we'll just come back down. And I've been waiting, like I said, all night long for Bobbitt to hit that three-point shot. Because I've seen him hit those shots before. He, he really he really had not taken any real shots tonight. And that one there just gives him another weapon out there, you know, that you got to worry about if you're Spencerville. Here we go, 122 to go here in the third quarter. Ginther with the ball out top. Wade Ginther is a really steady player for this yeah, Pirate he offense. Is. He's not a big-time scorer, but I really like his game, Dar. He's come to play tonight. They'll go Donaldson on the right side. They'll go back to Ginther. I mean, he has five points tonight. He usually averages around 12 points sure. a game. But tonight, he's really just being the general he's been a, out there. Yeah, you're right. He's been a, a, a distributor. Yeah, he's just going to run the offense. Yeah. Ginther gets it into Summers. Summers takes it up with the left hand. And it's blocked by Sutoff. And Summers swats at the ball. And it goes out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Bearcats. Oh, they're going to get a foul. I'm sorry. They're going to get a foul yeah, on right. Brody Summers. Excuse me. Frustration foul right absolutely, there. Absolutely, absolutely. 57, 55, 50 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Will Sensabaugh brings it up against Mary Donaldson. Two of the top guards in Northwest Ohio. This is Owen Sensabaugh. He's on that list too, brother, let me tell you. 
Here's Will, gets it over to Owen Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh dribble drive, gets it inside oh to Sutoff. Oh my goodness. And Sutoff is Johnny <laughs> on the spot, are you kidding me? Connor Sutoff scores again. Makes it 59-55 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Great vision just to see him underneath there. Brody Summers with the ball out top. Thought about popping that one. Looks to get to run back. Mary Donaldson at the volleyball line, guarded by Evan Osteen. Trying to get some space to get that shot up. We're down under 10 seconds. Summers gets it to Donaldson. Donaldson dribble drive, takes it on the right side, and he scores! Mary Donaldson! Oh my goodness! Mary Donaldson with a little dipsy down, and he scores! And after three quarters of play from Brenton High School, the Spencer Bill Bearcats lead this one 59 57. We'll be back in fourth quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back to Bluffton High School. We start the fourth quarter. The Spencerville Bearcats lead 59-57. Danny Ober, Darn Everbo, and Dart. You saw <laughs> Eric Donaldson with the last bucket there for the Pirates. Look, he's been out for a while sick. He's showing no signs of that oh, tonight. Absolutely that no young sign. man is fantastic. And that was a great shot, too. He was way away from the basket when he threw that up there. He used the backboard just the way he should have used it. You know, just a great shot at the last second there. But, like I said, this, this game's going to come down at the end, and rebounding really has been a key in this game, too, you know, to control who's ever controlling the boards. Well, and it's going back and forth all night long. And what's sad is one of these teams is going to lose this game. Yeah. <laughs> it's just unfortunate because these are two of the best teams in Northwest Ohio. Oh, I'll tell you what, tournament time, you know, you're going to see them, you know, go a long way in the tournament. Oh, absolutely. both these teams are going to be real tough out. This is Blake Summers, gets it over to Bob. Thought about taking that three. Guarded by Sensabaugh, and Sensabaugh will, or Owen Sensabaugh gets a steal. He's going to take it down the middle of the floor, takes it up, and tries to get it. And it's brought in by Carter Sutton. That's three times tonight Carter Sutton's been in the right spot, and he makes it 61-57. You talked about rebounding being huge, and that was a big one. That was a big one right there, and he's been right there all night long, and that's one advantage you've got if you can make those, you know, you can throw it up there if you've got big guys underneath. They'll clean it up for you, and that's what's happening. Here come the Pirates, now 61-57, Mary Donaldson, the 12 foot jumper, off the mark, with a big time rebound wow. by Carey Wright, he finds Gunther, and gets her to the basket, and he scores, Wade gets her, gets her, excuse me, cuts to the basket, and it's 61-59 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. That's seven points now for Gunther, and that's his first basket of the second half. But again, another aggressive rebound by Kerry Wright to keep that game play alive. They're going Carter set off inside. Set off tries to turn around, face the basket. Shot goes up. Ball gets batted around. Comes down to Donaldson. And they're going to get Evan Oston on the foul. And it's interesting to note, Gar, that Spencerville now has both of their bigs on the floor in Carter Sutup and Carter Orr, which is huge for them. They're both in foul trouble, but it looks like Coach Sensenball is going to oh, roll gotta, with them. you got to roll with it right now. Yeah. I mean, you got to keep those guys in there. You can't afford to give up anything on the inside to this Bluffton Pirate team. Here comes Ginther, guarded by Ellen Sensenball. Wade Ginther takes a little turnaround, and he oh, knocks nice. it in. Oh. Wade Ginther starting to take this one over as he knocks in another jumper, and we're all 961. Here comes Owen Sensenball, brings it right back down, and it goes off the mark, and we're going to get a foul on Carter Sutoff, and that will be, I believe, four on Sutoff. I could be wrong. It's either three or four. Third, excuse me, I was wrong. It is his third. 6-16 to go here in the game, all knotted at 61 apiece. And again, it's the rebounds on the inside. The guy's getting up there and getting fouls. You know, they're controlling the inside. Both teams doing a nice job in there. Gimper with the ball. He's got the last two buckets for the Pirates. This is Donaldson. Donaldson dribble drive, foul line, little jumper off the mark. Rebound comes down to Carter Orr. He'll get it over to Will Sensiball. Sensiball brings it down the left side. 5.52 to go. Three ball on the way from Sensiball, and it's good. Oh, Will Sensiball, oh my goodness. The freshman phenom knocks in the triple. And it's 64-61. Sensiball's got 13 on the night. Excuse me, he's got 16 on the night. <laughs> and what we say about the Sensiball brothers, they're losing their oh, senses tonight. That's right, they are losing their senses. Blake Summer says, oh, it feels like summertime. 64-63 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Blake Summers came to play. He's got 16. 
This is definitely a, a little bit of a grudge match, it looks like, out there between these guys. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's Evan Erston with the ball. He'll go over to Carter Orr. Back into Sutoff. A little high-low. Carter Sutoff for the turnaround. Misses it. Ball goes out of bounds. And then it goes back to Spencerville. I like that high-low action with Carter Orr and Carter Sutoff. And the entry pass was right there. Sutoff just missed the turnaround. So, since the ball will bring it into Carter Orr. This is Sensabaugh, three ball the way. And it's off the mark, rebound. Oh, Sutoff, oh, one-handed, oh. one-handed, he pushes it in. He's got 10 on the night, and the Bearcats lead 66-63. Carter Sutoff, oh wow. my goodness. Boy, he's take, kind of taking charge of this game right, right now. Absolutely. Bobble with the ball. He'll go to the foul line. Tries to take it inside. Guarded by Will Sensenbaugh. They'll go break Summers out top. This is Wade Ginther. Goes back inside to Carey Wright. Carey Wright will turn around. Up and under. Can't get the shot off. And they're going to go five seconds. Yeah, I saw that coming. The official was caught. I mean, the official was counting when he had the ball. He just held it just a little bit long. Great defense right there by oh, Spencerville. Just keep him from making that shot. And Coach Sensenbaugh is going to take a time out. With 4 24 to go. We'll step aside. We're watching high school basketball on WOSC. Welcome back to Bluffton High School with 424 to go in this contest. The Bearcats of Spencerville lead the Bluffton Pirates 66 63. What do you think Coach Sensenbaugh saw there that he won the timeout? Well, I, I think right now, you know, you're, you're, what you really want to know your team is to sit, just calm down a little sure. bit, just play the game. You know, we're getting a nice movement on the inside. We're starting to feel it in there between the two guys. Carter Sutloff, he got 10 points all here in the second half, I believe. You know, so they're starting to get some nice movement on the inside. You know, let's play a little half-court offense. Let's sure. eat some time off this clock. Trying to get the ball into Carter Sutloff. This is Owen Sensenbaugh as he dribble drives to the foul and he brings it back out. This is Evan Oster guarded by Rooster on the outside. This is Carter Sutup. What a half he's played. They'll go inside to Carter Orr. Orr with the shot up and he loses the handle of the ball and the Pirates corral it. They'll get it back to Wade Gimber with 350 to go in the game. That's a big possession for the Bluffin Pirates right here. You're absolutely right. They're down three with 344 to go. Wade Gimber gets it to Carey Wright. Carey Wright takes it in. Misses the shot from point blank range. Boy, I thought that was going in. Yeah, so did Carey Wright. <laughs> Carey Wright played a fantastic game tonight for the Pirates. He's got seven on the night. 328 to go. Bearcats lead 66-63. And Will Sensabaugh gets the ball poked out of his hands. And it goes back to the Pirates, and we got a foul. And that is on Owen Sensabaugh, his third, with 3.24 to go. Bottle in for Landon Rooster as he goes to the bench. And Merrick Donaldson back in the game as well. I'm telling you, Merrick Donaldson's going to play a part in this game. <laughs> that young man is too good of a basketball player. We've watched him all night. He's got 16 to lead the Pirates. Bobble with the ball up top, guarded by Will Sensenball. Oh, Mary Whoa. Donaldson thought about shooting from the volleyball line. Are you kidding me? All he needs is a little space. Oh, nice. Carey Pat. Wright with a screen and cut to the basket, and he scores to make it 66 What a great assist. What a pass by Mary Donaldson. My goodness. That had Magic Johnson written all over it. Here come the Bearcats. They're up 66-65 and 2.48 to go. Oh, Sensenball with the ball out top, guarded by Donaldson. He gets it over to his brother, Will Sensenball. Ginther falls down. Sensenball with a nice step through. Gets it into Sutoff, and Sutoff scores. Carter Sutoff, the big man, scores again. He's got 12 of the night. The Bearcats lead 68-65 on the left insurance scoreboard. And the Bearcats doing a nice job of getting him the ball, too. You know, like yeah, you working know. it on the inside the way they are. Bobber looks for Ginther cutting, and he almost loses the ball, and they're going to get a foul on Will Sensenball. That's his third. 2-16 now. We're getting down to crunch time. With, uh, a one-possession lead for the Bearcats. This is a huge possession for the Bluffton Pirates. Ginther posts up. He's guarded by Owen Sensenball. Tries to take him inside, up and under, and he misses the oh, shot. Rebound shot. comes down, tough and they're going to get way... Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> I thought they were going to get Wade Ginther on the foul. They got 
Carter Orr there is dead. Carter Orr on the foul. Boy, I, I'm not an official, so I won't comment. That's his fourth. 2.09 to go here in the game. Well, that's going to play a key part if this sure goes, game goes overtime for Ooh, sure. My More than that, it sends Wade Gipp in the line with the clock stopped. 2.09 to go. And the Pirates down 68-65. So big free throws here by Wade Gipper. Averages 11.7 a year, or a game, excuse me. This is the first one. A 73% free throw, free throw shooter as well. Second one on the way, and he knocks that one in, and Gipper's got double figures. He's got 10 on the night, and it's a 68-66 game with 2.05 to go. Danny Obergar never gone from Bluffton High School, the NWC front runner on the line as both these teams are undefeated in the league play. Somebody's going to walk out of here alone in first place. This is Owen Sensiball. We're down to 150. Bearcats lead 68-66. Kick it out to Evan Osteen. Osteen, and Osteen is guarded by Boblin, and they're going to get oh. a foul on Boblin. Osteen lost the ball out of yeah. bounds, and a quick foul there by uh, Boblin. Yeah, it looked like the break was going to go Bluffton's way, but you know they call him Boblin sure. on the foul. And you can see the you know what Sens Kevin Sensiball is saying to his guys right now is you know. And Mary Donaldson with a near steal there. Out of the hands of Will Sensible. What a matchup out here with these two guards. Now Bluffton trying to trap him out there and try to get that ball away from him. Osteen dribble drive gets it to Sutoff. Sutoff wasn't going towards the rim. And now uh, Spencer will playing a little keep away here up 68 66. Will Sensible in and out of the paint there, and they're going to get Bob on the foul with 1.16 to go. Well, Bob and Weave there for the Spencerville Bob and well, Bearcats, but. You know, we talked about it all night, and this is where quality guard ball handling comes into play because right now, Will Sensible really handling the ball well when it's in his hands. They try to draw, just growing those fouls on the Pirates, but, you know, you got to be careful here. You're only up two points. You can get a little passive and end up losing the ball, too. Sends the ball with the ball, 1-10 to go. Gets it to Carter Orr. Carter Orr gets it back to Sensiball. We're at 105. Over to Owen Sensiball. Sensiball finds Sutoff cutting to the rim, and he scores. Carter Sutoff has been huge in the second half. My goodness. He's got 14 on the line, and the Bearcats lead 70-66. Gither with the shot, and he scores. Wade Gither, are you kidding me? Wade Gither, 70-68. We'll be back after these messages. And you got to keep Carter Sides off away from that basket because oh right now he's just dominated here in the second half. Bearcats inbound the ball and Wade Genther fouls immediately. Pirates with some three. fouls to yeah, give. They got some fouls to give. You're right. That'll be three on Genther. Coach Bobbitt's telling them to come up. They're going to play straight man on the ball. They'll get it into Owen Sensiball. He's trapped in the corner. He loses the ball. Steal by Ginther. Ginther takes it up. And he scores. Oh, my. Wade Ginther. Oh, my. He knocks it at 70 apiece with 37 seconds to go. Here come the Bearcats. 34 seconds to go. We're all nine at 70. Sensiball guarded by Donaldson out top. We're at 25 seconds. We're down to 20 seconds. And a timeout by the Bearcats. Oh, oh my goodness, partner. Get the paddles out. My heart's in shock right now. Oh, my goodness. I'm going crazy here. We're going to keep it here. We're not going to play. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, Bluffton's got to be careful because, you know, they can get lulled to sleep a little bit out there. I know they're not thinking that way, but, you know, you got a little sense ball out there handling the ball and just dribbling around out there, you know. But Carter Sudloff sitting out here in the wing with waiting for the sure. ball. You can see it in his eyes. So if you're bluffing, you got to watch him. Now they got, you know, a couple guys here going to cut over on him for sure. But well, you look, Dar, it's no secret. We said it at halftime. The difference in the second half has been Carter Sutton. Oh, absolutely. He was in foul trouble the 
entire first half, what a difference that young man has made, and we're still not in the 70. Yeah, and he's just been playing with those fouls too, and he just, you know, not gotten himself in any further trouble. And you know, Bluffton's got to really key up their defense right now. And I, I'm interested to see what Kevin Sinsball is going to call here. You know, you're going to sure. hold it down to the last well, you gotta, five seconds. Yeah, you got to believe you want to take the last shot right. here on their floor. I mean, Demis, you're going to overtime. No, no hurries there. Uh, but uh, Spencerville is going to inbound in front of their bench. They'll get it into Will Sensible. He's guarded by Ginther. We're down to 15 seconds. This is Sensible. Sensible with the ball down to 10 seconds. And Coach Sensible is going to take a timeout with nine seconds to go. We're going to keep it right here. So he obviously wanted to see what uh, Bluffton was going to bring out on defense here. And uh, now he's going to set up the final shot of the game. Well, and just before he, right when he called that timeout, you saw Wade Ginther take a break towards, you know, since the ball to foul him, you know, because they do have a couple fouls to give yet. So, you know, we've talked so much tonight, Dar, about these kids. We haven't really talked about the head coaches. These two head coaches are fantastic. I'm not just saying that. Both these guys are first class in how they run their programs. I mean, you look at them tonight. They've had these kids ready to go. Oh, absolutely. And it's been a chess match all night long between the two of them. You know, it's interesting to watch is, you know, when you got two great coaches like this going at each other, you know, and, and the discipline that they're players, you can see it, you know, the fundamentals, discipline, everything out there in that court. You know, there was times in this game where one team took a bigger lead, you know, and the other team just uh, sucked it up and said, okay, I'll come back. You know, and, and it's been back and forth the whole night long and neither team's really panicked or, or just lost that little bit of edge that they've had. Here we go, we got 9.1 seconds to go. Spencerville with the ball, the NWC. First place on the line here. Doesn't mean that the winner of this game is going to win the conference, but it does give them a leg up. Yes, Absolutely. It does. So Carter Orr will inbounds it to Will Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh is guarded by Ginther and he immediately fouls. And they have 8.2 seconds to go. Bluffton's got another foul to give. They've got four. So Carter Orr will trigger the ball in and Coach Sensabaugh wants another timeout with 8.2 seconds to go. So, Dar, you've seen a lot of basketball this year. Obviously, these two teams are among the best in the area. Who else do you like in Northwest Ohio? Well, of course, there's Ottawa Glendorf. Everybody looks at them. Sure. I think Lima Senior, if oh, they can fantastic. get, they got a key component coming back, and then the Cotton kid, and yes. you know, they're going to be a team to watch. I mean, even without him in there, they were a team to watch. But you know, you look at OG, you look at Lima Senior. Uh, even Shawnee, uh, who got blown away yeah, by right. Lima Senior, they've got a nice team out there with, the, you know, well, and, the, and, you the know, perfect kids and a stuff. Lot of, a lot of schools are having great teams. Look, look at it, Elida, they're 11 and 4 this year. Coach Tabor, who just is one of my favorite coaches in the year, they're having a great year out there for the Bulldogs. Well, and I've got the, the LCC uh, Liberty Benton game coming up down the two road too. Schools, yeah. Two good schools. Uh, you know, Pandora Gilboa, you know, going at it tonight with Liberty Benton. Yeah, they'll take on these Bluffton Pirates yep. tomorrow night, which will be a great game. You wonder how much Bluff they'll have in the tag after such a great game tonight. Oh, absolutely. I think Spencerville comes back with another key game as well. So, you know, there's a lot of good basketball. Like I said, when it comes to tournament time and stuff, Northwest Ohio holds nothing, you know, again, you know, as far as the basketball goes. They are a great basketball area. So Carter Orr gets it in the sense of ball. We're down to seven seconds. This is Will Sensiball. He's got the ball. He's dribble driving to the right side. Takes it in. Misses the shot. Rebound comes down to the Pirates. And we're going to overtime. Oh, my goodness. Overtime at Lumpkin High School. When we come back, we'll start overtime play right here on WOSN. Scoreboard sponsor is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lyman Allen County for over 100 years in boxes in downtown Lima and Bluffton. And tonight's OT sponsor is you and me, Dar. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right there. <laughs> we what got a great over game. Oh, I mean, what goodness. a great game. Now, you said it earlier. You thought it was going to come down to the last possession, and it sure did. Uh, what, what a fun game for both these schools, and it's just too bad one of them's going to walk out here with a league loss. I think the temperatures went up 100 degrees. Oh, at least, at least. I think it melted a few flags over there on the side of it. The big thing is going to be fouls now because you got a couple yes. of players out there with you know, some foul trouble. 
we knew if it came to overtime, that'd be a key. Ginther with four fouls for Bluffton. That's a, that's a big thing for Bluffton, because he's really been their general all night long. Will sends the ball with the ball up top. 3.51 to go here in overtime. Looking over his brother, Owen. Owen goes Carter or to the right side. Back to Evan Osten. Osten guarded by Bob. Down to 3.42. Knotted up at 70. Danny Hobart guard never guard from Bluffton High School. NWC first place on the line. Evan Osten with a little jumper. And he's going to be fouled by Bob. And is that 4 or 5 on Bob? I believe that's 4. Four. Yeah, so they got Wade Ginther and now Bob with four fouls. Two foul, yeah, both of them with four fouls. Evan Osten will go to the line. First one on the way. That's good. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Walkout Delphus and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens here. So Evan Osten with the second one. He lets it fly and he knocks it in. Evan Osten has five in the night. And the Bearcats have a 72 70 lead on the Web Insurance scoreboard. And Evan Osten's pretty, pretty quiet all night long. I he mean, has. he's averaging about just under 12 points a game, sure. and he only has five and three. You know, that's his first two points of the second half. 3.31 to go here. Ginther with the ball up top. Guarded by Osten. Here goes Ginther, dribble down to the right side. Shot goes up, and it's blocked. And Sutoff with a big rebound. Carter Sutoff has just played absolutely out of his mind in the second half here. And the Bearcats lead 72-70 with 3.10 to go on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Well, they got a much better job in the second half. The Bearcats have a rebound in the basketball as well. Evan Osten with the ball on the right side. He'll go back to Will Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh finds his brother cutting to the rim. Owen Sensabaugh left hand. Misses shot. What a rebound oh by Sutoff. Carter went from three lines. This is that one. You want to talk about a big time rebound, that Carter Sutoff. I didn't think anybody was going to get that. He, yeah, I think his hand was up above the rim. There's no. Oh, uh, Mary, Mary Donaldson, are you kidding me? Mary Donaldson knocks this one up to 72, and every time we count them out, the Pirates keep coming back with 2.39 to go. He, he, he look, when he goes up, he looks past it. He looks like he stretches out. Yeah, he does. My goodness. It's like way out there and just a flick of the hand. Oh my goodness. 2.39 to go, overtime, not at 72 apiece. <sighs> well, everybody that's here tonight got their money's worth, that's for sure. <laughs> that's it, you can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. You can watch me where you want. You can watch me and you from. Well, that's right. Asia. That's right. Or from a submarine. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. 2.39 to go. What a, what a great game tonight. And no one's left the facility. It's jammed. They were bringing people in at the start of the game. And you and I were wondering where they were going to put them. And I'm still not sure where they put them. You know, I don't know where they went. But yeah. there's nobody leaving their seats in this one right now. That's for sure. And, Coach, wow, what a game. Uh, yeah, Coach Sagerson over there with uh, Matt Childress and uh, the old LCC crew watching this game, really enjoying tonight's festivities. And both teams just laying their hearts out there. I mean, they're playing their, their butts off right now. And and it, right. It's just un incredible basketball. You know, for these young kids to go out here and play the way they've been playing and put this much heart into it. So Sensabaugh's going to get the ball with 2.35 to go. We got it up here at 72. Both squads look really fresh from the end of overtime. Well, Sensabaugh thought about pulling that trigger there. Kicks it over to Owen Sensabaugh. Owen Sensabaugh dribbling past the foul line. Tries to turn around. He's going to have to get it out of there. Negative five seconds. Excuse me, three seconds on Owen yep. Sensabaugh. I said five seconds earlier in the podcast. I meant three seconds. He was absolutely right. And Great defense by yeah. Merrick Donaldson, oh, though, wasn't goodness. it? He was bodying up on him and saying, no, you're not going around me. I don't care. Here comes Wade Ginther. Dribbles drives to the right side. Kicks it back out. Free ball from Blake Summers. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Evan Hostings, and they're going to get carried right on the foul. And that was just incidental contact going for the rebound. Yeah, yes, it was. And, you know, Great effort by Kerry Wright, though, just to go after that ball, you know. Boy, Blake Summers was wide open. Yeah, there was he's... a lack of defensive communication there. Blake Summers just misses the shot. He's played a heck of a game tonight, Blake Summers has. 
And Evan Osteen will go to the line. First one on the way, and it's good. Boy, Evan Osteen's cool as a cucumber up at the line. He's just knocking him down. 65% free throw shooter coming in. He was 33 for 51. He didn't look phased at all. Nope, he's hit every one of them so far. Second one away, he knocks it in. He's five Evan for five Osteen. tonight. Evan Osteen knocks that one 74 72. Osteen's got seven on the right. We're down to the two men mark here in overtime. Gimper gets it in to Kerry Wright. Kicks it back out to Gimper. Looking for Bombard off the screen. Bombard with the ball on the right side. Guarded by Will Sensiball. Go to Mary Donaldson. Donaldson guarded by Owen Sensiball. There's what a, a battle right here. Yeah, what a <laughs> matchup of two of the best players in Northwest Ohio. Here's Ginther with the ball. Goes to the middle. Gets it over to Mary Donaldson. Here comes Donaldson. Thought he was going to try to do another one. I thought he was too. Shots he does. He's a Donaldson out by the volleyball line. I'm telling you, you better guard him. He'll shoot out there. And Coach Bobber is going to take a time out. We're going to take a time out with 128 to go here in overtime. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSC. Back here at Bluffton High School in game over Darn Evergo. 128 to go here in overtime. Spencer Bearcats in 74 72. And just high level of high school basketball here tonight on both sides. And if you watch Todd Bywood, he never changes his expression, it seems like. He's very cool, calm. You know, even a game like this where nobody else is cool and calm. Got a fantastic job for this player. Here's Kerry Wright with a little dribble drive, trying to go up against Sutton. Sutton just makes a wall, almost throws the ball away, but Mary Donaldson corrals it. A great job by Donaldson of getting that ball back. This is Gimbal with the ball. We're down to 105. Ginther with the dribble drive, kicks it back out. Gary Wright, here's Ginther, will go to the rim, tries to get it back in, and they lose the ball. Here comes Owen Sensiball. He gets it over to Osteen. Osteen takes it up, and he's fouled by Mary Donaldson, and that's the right call. I'm telling you, no. Mary Donaldson did a nice job of getting a foul there, or he's going to give up the bucket. I think, I think well, on that particular possession there by Bluffton, I think it was one pass too many. Yeah, I think you're I right. mean, yeah. they were trying to work it in, work it in, work it in. And, you know, it just you know finally got away from him. Here's Evan Osteen. And he misses that one. Boy, that's big. That's a huge miss there. 74 72. We're under a minute to go with 54 seconds to go. Osteen, we'll get another He's got seven on the night. Second one on the way. And he misses that one. Oh, he's tired. And the ball got swatted away. It'll go back to Bobman. Still at 74 70. Mary Donaldson with the ball. Bobla thought about taking the three yeah. from way out there. This is Ginther. Going to dribble drive to the foul line. Going to kick it back out. There goes Ginther. Takes it inside. Shot goes up. He scores. Oh, he's Wait, playing. Smooth. Ginther, are you kidding me? Wait, Ginther. He knocks it at 74 apiece. We got 30 seconds to go in overtime one. Could we have another overtime? Here we go. This there is we're down to the last shot again. Sensibaugh's going to hold it out top. Guarded by Ginther. You can't hear anything in here. It is as loud as any high school gym I've been in in Northwest Ohio. We're down to 12 seconds. Sends the ball with the ball. And they're going to take another timeout with eight seconds to go. <laughs> now let's see what kind of play he calls. I'm too old. I'm too old. <laughs> You're too old. <laughs> oh, 8.9 seconds to go. You know, last time they went to the last shot. They took and they put Will Sensible on top of the key and they cleared out and let him yep, go to the rim. Let him go to the rim. You gotta wonder if they may set something like that again and have Sutoff going to the rim. Well, one way or the other, they want to try to get in there. If you can't get the basket, get the foul. One of the two. You know, we can go to the line and we can win it that way if we have to. This has been something else, I'll tell you what. <laughs> We knew it was going to be a good game. We, we didn't know it was going to be like this. Oh, camera for Megan Sherry keeps looking at me with that look at the face. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he, he thinks he's too old, Megan. Oh, I, said, yeah. I, was in, I was a junior in high school when he was born, so I don't know what to do. I've blown her eardrums out tonight with my screams and my hollers. <laughs> Here we go, partner. 8.9 seconds to go. Spencerville will inbounds it right in front of their bench. So the luxury of having Coach Sensabaugh there to screen out any instructions. Evan Osteen gets it in to Sensabaugh. They'll go set off, set off with a turnaround shot, and he's fouled. And they're going to get carried. Yeah, that's a, you called it, partner. 
and Carrie Wright with the foul, and that'll send Carter Sutoff to the line with a chance to go up by two with 5.9 seconds to go. A 75% free throw shooter, 15 for 20 coming into this game, has not shot one tonight. He's got 14 on the night, first one on the way, and he misses oh it. My. Carter Sutoff with a chance here for another one. 74 all, 5.9 seconds to go. Coach Bob was telling his kids to get the rebound and get to half court with a timeout. Here we go, second one on the way, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Carter Orr. Gets it in. Shot goes up. And Carter shot off. trouble early in the first half, came back in the second half and pretty much dominated this one. But the top, but to even get three Tim attempts at that basket at the end is unbelievable. That was an unbelievable finish to an unbelievable game. Are you kidding me? The Spencerville Bearcats in overtime knock off the Bluffton Pirates 76-74. Your final thoughts, Darl, on this unbelievable game. Well, what a game. I mean, you know, all, all night long, both teams fighting back and forth, you know, pretty even across the board on all of it. You know, just a great game all the way around. A little chess match being played at the end there by the coaching staff, you know. But I'll tell you what, both these teams are going to be somebody to reckon with when it comes tournament time. You oh. know? And this doesn't necessarily end up for Bluffton as far as the Northwest Conference goes. Both of them, I think, still have to play Allen East, I believe. Sure. You know, so, so Bluffton still has a chance for a co, co in, the, in the league. but. Boy, what a big win for Spencerville. I mean, huge win for Spencerville, and what a big game for Carter Sutoff. He's going to remember this one for a long well, we're, time. Well, we're going to try to get Carter Sutoff up here and talk to that young man. He had 16 huge points in the second half. So, uh, yeah, 76-74. Unbelievable atmosphere. Unbelievable game. Spencerville goes to 12-4, and 4-0 in the Northwest Conference. Bluffton falls to 14-2 and on the year. Their first league loss, what a game. Oh, it, it, and what a crowd, what an oh. atmosphere. I mean, just everything you'd want to see in a basketball game on the high school level, you know, or college level for that matter. I mean, this this place was rocking, particularly towards the end there when, you know, you know, Will, uh, since, uh, since Ball had the ball out front there, you could hear the kids over here just stomping their feet and everything else, just trying to, you know, throw the game off and stuff. But that was just unbelievable finish for this game, Danny. I don't, you know, how he even saw the ball, <laughs> how he even got the ball, how he even threw the ball up that there. That replay you know. will go down history. <laughs> but he was there. I mean, that's the big thing. He was there, and that's where he's been for the whole second half. And, you know, he's been able to carry this team in the second half. And, boy, it's, like I said, it's a game that he's going to remember for a long time. And that'll wrap it up. From Bluffton High School, the Bluffton Pirates fall to the Spencerville Bearcats 76-74. For Darn Everbo, I'm Danny Holbrook, and our entire WOSN crew. We'll see you next week. You're watching High School Sports, WOSN. Back here at Bluffton High School, where the Spencerville Bearcats on an unbelievable overtime victory. Defeat the Bluffton Pirates 76-74. And this guy to my right, Carter Sutoff. My goodness, you waited until the second half to oh, wake up. <laughs> tell me about it, I know. <laughs> oh, so you go into halftime, no points, correct? Yep. Right, yeah. You come out 16 huge points. Yeah. What, what changed in the second half? Well, I mean, the first half, I, two early fouls, nothing I can do about it. And then I'm fresh for the second half, and that's what coach told me. And I mean, I just used that as an advantage. I got every hustle play I could and made, and that's what led to most of my points. And, and Carter, not only your scoring ability, and Dar and I talked about it a lot, your rebounding ability, do you take a lot of pride in that, don't you? Uh, yes, that's what got, got me to here. You know, my rebounding is why I played when I was younger, and that helped me develop the game that I have today. That's a huge part of it. This was a big game for you, not only in the fact that it was for first place in the Northwest Conference, but a little bit of a rivalry with some uh, some things between the two schools, right? Oh yeah, you know, Blake and Brody, they're great kids. Absolutely. Unfortunately, they had to they moved back here, and you know, it was a, it was, we knew we knew how it was going to be. Blake's a hell of a player, and that's what it just came out to be.
Have you ever hit a game winner like that? Yes, last year. <laughs> Last year against Crestview, same situation, <laughs> pick and roll. It wasn't in overtime, though. It was last second play, nice little layup, and it was game winner. Uh, well, congratulations. What a great night for you and the Bearcats. And uh, tomorrow night, uh, you guys are on the road, correct? Uh, I think we're at home. Oh, at home, home, that's right. Yeah, so you got to get ready for that. Yep. <laughs> well, congratulations, my man. Thank you. Appreciate it. High school. We had the big man on campus, Carter set up. Now we got the big coach on campus. Coach Sensabaugh, what a win for your kids tonight. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was it was a tremendous win for our guys. I'm just so happy for them. You know, they they've been wanting this game for a sure, long time. Absolutely. You know, they it, it's hard to keep focus in the right place with high school kids, you know. And I thought we've done a pretty good job of that, but They've been talking about this for a couple weeks. Sure. They, they they were looking forward to this. They knew we could win this. They were you know to come on the road against a really good team. A really good team. And and play the way we played offensively, um, which we had not played great offensively. I thought we played much better offensively tonight. Um, but just the you know I, I love the way we won it. You know like um, I told the guys in the locker room after the game. You know, yeah, I love that we won, but I love how we won. It was a toughness play, and that's that's you know that's one of our things. That's one of our core values. And you know, Carter Orr made a great effort play. Carter Sutoff made a great effort. We just had guys making great effort plays when it counted the most. Yeah, you, you, you got a little foul trouble in the first half, and what a difference having Carter Orr and Carter Sutoff on the floor together in the second oh, half. Yeah, tremendous. Two talented players, and I talked to Carter Sutoff before you came on, and I just talked to him about his rebound. Mm -hmm. I mean, he scores, but. Coach, he, he goes after everything. He's an elite rebounder, yes, no doubt is. about it. He's he's had several games this year where he's been at 15 rebounds or more. I don't know how many he had tonight, but he had a bunch. Uh, would have had a lot more if he'd played in the first half. Sure. But I thought our guards did a tremendous job in the first half of keeping everything afloat without the two bigs on the floor. Um, our guards made shots, made plays. You know, they were just good enough to keep us hanging around because I knew that when the bigs came back in, it would make it more difficult for them to guard us. And it was it was really fun. It's just a really fun night. Yeah. So, you, coach, you're on top of the league standings now. Uh, how do you come back tomorrow night and settle these guys down and, and go back at it just as hard? You, you know, they're, they're young men, but they're, they're going to be a little fatigued. Oh, no, no doubt about it. But I, I think I, I think more than anything else that this was a big hurdle, oh. and I and I think you know our guys will be energized tomorrow because they'll feel good. You know. It's sure. different if you expend all that energy and lose. Mm -hmm. Now you're coming back like, I don't know, we got to do this again. But I think now it's like they can't wait to play again because it was so exciting. Well, congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate you. I appreciate it. That'll wrap it up from Bluffton High School. Spencerville Bearcats, 76-74.